Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Sorry for the lag on startup. I do have to do this in full screen because my PoE is bugged. Uh, so I wanted to actually go ahead and give you guys um, kind of like the character progression of the build I was showing you guys on YouTube. So originally I told you guys I was going to go between fire, ice, or lightning. Uh, it ends up that arc is a pretty crazy meta, uh, you know, as we all expected. So I didn't really want to show you guys with arc. So instead I decided to try something a little bit new. The skill tree is pretty much the exact same as I showed you guys. Um, and we're actually trying out Bladefall with Explosive Trap. Now, the reason why I'm using Bladefall and Explosive Trap is Bladefall is 100% physical, and um, the other trap, Explosive Trap, is 50% physical. So, with Fizz to Lightning and Explosive Trap, you now have 100% elemental conversion. Fizz to Lightning with Bladefall, you only have 50% conversion. But as of right now, that's more than enough for Bladefall to clear. And you can always just sub in some random conversion to get the last amount of conversion. And then you don't even have to use Fizz to Lightning. Um, but again, anyway, I just want to show you guys how it clears. As of right now, it is absolutely fucking disgusting. Um, I say that in the nicest non-exaggeration way possible. Um, so I'm 43. I'm just going to go ahead and run Innocence again for you guys. Now, our links before we get started are Bladefall, Fizz to Lightning, Cluster Trap, Trap. Um, before this, you're just going to use Multi Trap, uh, and you don't have to use Fizz to Lightning. And I'm using Explosive Trap, Fizz to Lightning, Added Fire, Ellie Focus. It's really up to you um, on the links there. Now, um, the reason why I'm not using Trap and Mind Damage is because we don't want to reduce our throwing speed, because throwing speed is kind of like a multiplier for us. The more we can chuck out traps, the you know faster we can chuck them out. Now, the important thing to note is that on bosses that have phases, we can set up so many explosive traps, it will literally like decimate the boss before it gets to do anything. Um, another reason why I like Bladefall is because Bladefall covers such a huge area. I don't have any AoE yet. There's no AoE on my thing except for like, well, I don't have anything except unless with the support gems like give AoE, this cluster trap give AoE now? No, it's just like insane. Um, so that's really cool, and having the extra effect of Freeze makes it feel like Ice Nova, except it does way more damage, and it's not Ice Nova. Um, granted, you can still play all those different kinds of traps and it works fine, but if you see here, just the amount of coverage you get is ridiculous. I will be getting the Blast Cat, or the, uh, the AoE in Witch, and I'll also be acquiring the AoE from my Ascendancy, which gives 20%, I believe. Leveling feels like a breeze, um, since we have the Blind Node, it's honestly pretty pretty rare that we actually take damage. The incursions do get a little bit scary, um, but that's kind of to be, you know, I think that's how it's supposed to be right now. There's also this other trap that we have called Siphoning Trap. Now, I haven't really done too much with this, but the way Siphoning Trap works is you throw it, and it will essentially slow everything. Again, slows are awesome, right? It slows and gives you a buff of life regen and mono regen. So the reason why that's good is because trappers don't really have much sustain. So especially early game, uh, this acts as a really nice slow and just sustain. Uh, sustain is always really nice. Here's an alba. Let's do a quick incursion. I don't know how this incursion works to be honest. I know I'm a, I'm a broadcaster and I don't even know what the league mechanic does, I apologize. Let me start a passage, okay. So here is the angry, angry person. Okay, they died already. Open the vault. Oh. Since we're doing a physical conversion skill, uh, assuming we continue with this, I'm actually really liking this Bladefall, to be honest, like, I swear to you. Uh, since we're sticking with physical conversion, we will be probably crafting our own weapon. Um, I probably won't use a stat stick for damage, just because I'm gonna go CI. Um, and I did end up helping Alira because I'm playing CI, and the reason why I kind of put those two together is because if I played a life variant, I would probably be using Eldritch Battery with Tinker Skin, and then you don't really need mana at that point. I just kind of like went in a circle here. I have to get shield charge going as well. Oh. 
soon I'll be able to show you guys the burst of the other trap. Ooh, ooh, that was a little spooky. My blasts are like way out of date. The end game goal is to run um, Temporal Chains Blasphemy along with um, along with Hatred and Discipline. I don't know if I'm going to be able to run all of that. So I may have to drop the Blasphemy Temp Chains, but we'll see. Alright, so let's start throwing some traps here. We got six, seven, five. Okay, he's already in next phase. Should be phase swapping here in a second, so I'm gonna put these down. Okay, he died. So next guy's coming up. I'm just gonna start throwing some of these down. We got 11, 10 traps up. Let's see, 13. He's about to spawn. Innocent spawns right. Okay, Innocent's phased. Now again, I'm level 45. This is a 43 spot. Uh, I'm not really using anything too crazy. I showed you guys my links. I do have an Oxium, so that's kind of cool, but uh, I mean, <laughs> that's nothing really too crazy on the gear. Let's start stacking again. Should be phasing in like three, two, one. There he is. Okay, he should be phasing again. And that is more or less how every single boss has went on this character. Um, yeah, um, I know this. I said this character is going to be CI. I have life nodes obviously right now because I'm playing a life based character until I respect. But we still have to go like down through here. Uh, actually, no, I still have to come up through here, grab like Throat Seeker, grab Blast Cascade for power charges, come over here. I actually do get AoE, so I'm excited. We get Blast Radius. Um, and then from our Ascendancy, we get Explosive Expert because we're not getting Chain Reaction. I've decided no need for Chain Reaction whatsoever. Uh, explosive Expert is going to give us um, an additional 10% pen, which is going to stack with our high explosives. That's really good because we have a mixture of damage between Fire, Ice, and Lightning. Um, and that's really good that we get like Global Penetration like that. Um, so yeah, everything has been going really smooth on the character. Pyromaniac is going to be our cruel lab. This is going to reduce the mana cost of our traps, uh, making it even easier to throw them. It's also going to give us that crazy sustain that we have uh, whenever these traps are triggered. If you want an example of how easily I can get 20 stacks of pyro, um, 4, 8, 12, 20, done. That's 20% that's life regen. Now granted, that's going to be a little bit difficult to do. Um, actually, it's not going to be difficult to do at all because with the amount of trap trigger area of effect I have right now, if you saw when we were clearing mobs, your your traps are ridiculous. I'm so fucking happy that GG did this patch. It's probably their best thing they could have ever done to traps. So take take a look at my trap trigger radius, right? You'll notice... Okay, well that was like a bad example. For some reason that one was weird. Okay, I don't know why that's not showing properly. Here we go. Come on mobs. There we go. Does that make like a bit more sense? They can get, they can get, essentially when a mob is like right here, even, this trap should trigger. Okay, well, it's really difficult to fucking show, but just, if you, <laughs> if you play it, you'll know. You'll, you'll know, I promise you. Uh, with the way the trap trigger AoE works, when you're throwing cluster traps, like, look, every single one is going to go off every single time, uh, which is so awesome. Like, it's honestly so amazing. Every single time, your, your cluster traps are all going to go off. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, just to show you guys really fast a couple of other skills um, with this same little setup. Let me go ahead and swap in like, what do we have here? Uh, I do believe I have an arc, 41. So arc's a bit lower level. Uh, we're just going to swap in for a three link arc to show you what it looks like. So it'll just be uh, like this here. Arc is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's pretty mad. 
is gonna get nerfed because it's OP. Honestly, Ark looks cooler without the MTX right now because of like, on this fucking badass looking. It looks so cool, dude. Um, to show you guys Ice Nova, if I have Ice Nova here still, I do. Okay. So this would be Ice Nova here on our three link. Which isn't, Ice Nova's not bad, it's just when you compare it to Bladefall, you can see there's like a big difference. Um, now Ice Nova does have some differences, like it does have 6% base crit, so that's a nice thing. But it really, Ice Nova really, really needs AoE for it to properly overlap. Um, that's the problem right now, is you, there's not much AoE on it compared to, like, my Bladefall. Um, so something else to show is, do I have a level Vortex? I don't think I do. I have a Freeze Pulse. I did want to try out Freezing Pulse, and I have a Cold Snap here too. Um, freezing Pulse, but I don't have any any jewels for it right now, so it's probably going to look really weird. Yeah, my Freeze Pulse is going to look really Kappa, but I'm pretty sure that Freeze Pulse for single target would be quite nuts. Um, I know the targeting seems weird on it, but as long as you have the Trap Trigger AoE, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Freeze Pulse hits really hard. Um, so this is still my alternative if I do that Ice Nova character. I almost, I almost, like, even want to just do an Ice Nova, or sorry, a Freeze Pulse Trapper with, like, Frost Bomb, and, uh, just use, like, one or two, th even one Threshold Jewel, I think, is more than enough, and you would just completely, like, decimate the monsters. You can see, like, the duration of the Freeze is, is so incredibly strong on Freezing Pulse. Uh, and then let me do, like, I do have a, a Cold Snap here. Oh, so here's the problem with Cold Snap, right? So Cold Snap has a cooldown, and because it has a cooldown, it's, uh, it uh, doesn't really work the way the other traps work, unfortunately. I wanted to do like a Vortex Cold Snap build, but it just seems like if you're if you're having to work around durations with like skills that don't one-shot, it just doesn't really feel very good. You know? Like it's kind of, yeah. But it's not bad. It's still something to like build around, you know? Um, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to give you guys some updates to the character. Having a load of fun with Trappers right now. So fucking happy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves as well. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.